like metal. Let me see how these planes on him. This is a wood metal. I don't know anything about it. Oh, that has a list of just poison ivy. But it doesn't have the right leaves. But that has a poison ivy, so I'm not going to touch it. This is a tall bellflower. I'm not saying it's a European large bindweed. Oh, let's see what this guy is. More. I should have known that. I'm an ISU grad. I didn't recognize the sycamore leaf. <laughs> Dad, I'm coming back to you to see if they're good skipping rocks. That is absolutely 100% goldenrod. Nice. Just verifying. Yeah, there's the, for the reference image on it. It has the white flowers on it. And then if you look right over there, you can see there's another one that has the white flowers. Locust. This is wild carrot. Wild carrot. Suppose. Yeah. But there's also a look-alike that looks that's a purple hemlock. And the way you can tell is at the joints. You know, first all three of them, and the only reason I know this is from uh, when I was at the Pathfinder School. All three of them have these nice white flowers on them. Purple hemlock, to my knowledge, has purple joints on them. The flowers all look completely different, but if you're just looking at everything else. I'm trying to get a picture of this grasshopper. Set. I found it. Bone set. One of my favorite herbs ever. It's like that looks like it, but I've seen like four plants that I think look like it. So, I'm <laughs> yeah, bone set. It's got nice velvet. Yeah, nice velvet leaves.
wood sorrel. American plantain. White vervain. That's really cool. Alright. So the first three plants that I'm going to be trying to sketch today is the white vervain, giant goldenrod, and then American plantain. All these are plants that I found in my local park. These Disclosure, these leaves were harvested from healthy plants and there's an abundant supply of these plants. None of them are inherently endangered or anything like that. Obviously, if that's the case, don't go picking your local plants. So, I learned this method from Greg Caudill of the Nature Reliance School. And what he teaches in order to really learn and really be able to identify these plants is to draw them and sketch them out. So, I am not that big of an artist. In fact, I would argue that I'm not even an artist. <laughs> this bug off me. So, this is going to be very rough. This is going to be very uh, rudimentary, but I'm still going to give it a shot. But just using a basic number two pencil and a sketch pad that I got from Walmart, I'm going to start off on the giant goldenrod, since that's the one that actually most interests me, and everyone everywhere has heard of how useful goldenrod is medicinally in teas and whatnot. So. Sorry about if it goes to this very fine point. I apologize in advance, guys. My allergies are kicking in, and I just spent a bunch of time out in the around these plants, so. And that comes down. And that goes up to a very fine point. Just looking at this plant, see that's got these ridges on it. So I'm gonna fix that curve just a little bit. about halfway down the ridges stop and then it just goes smooth the rest of the leaf. I go back in and dress up those lines.
And then I know that the bottom half of the leaf is smooth, so I'm gonna fill that in. And then on the leaf, you can see those veins coming up. Got one that goes from the center of the leaf all the way down. And then I've got two more that break off about halfway through, so on each side, and then another one that breaks off through about a quarter of the way through each side. So starting off with the main vein, that goes all the way down. And about a quarter of the way up the leaf is where those other two split off. And those go to this first lobes. And these other ones that go about halfway through that segment start right after the stem. And I can see that there's a little bit of an actual stem there. So I'm going to bring that in a little bit. There we go.
and there you have it. Like I said, I am not one of an artist. So the stuff that I'm not very good at articulating and pencil, I just drew in. So we have about half of it is a serrated leaf. You have the primary vein, which goes from the small stem all the way to the top of this feather-like tip. And then the secondary veins, and they counted out four of them. One, two, three, and four. And now, once I get home and I can do more research and whatnot, this entire rest of this page is going to be recipes and how to effectively use this plant. So goldenrod, I know I can use it as a tea. With plantain, I know that I can use this as a salve or as a, uh, you know, it's really good for bites. And then the seeds you can actually eat and are edible. Vervain, I've never heard of it. I know I've seen it everywhere, but I had no idea that that was what this was called. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of research on this one. So next one I'm working on is white vervain. This one has a very teardrop shape. Once we get to the bottom, it has this really short stem. So, starting from the outside and moving in, we have serrations all throughout the tier of the leaf. of the leaf comes to a point. And I just clean that up. So the next thing I'm going to address on this leaf, it's got a medial vein that goes all the way through. And 
actually starts in the middle of that small stem and goes all the way up. And then the veins that divide off of the medial vein are alternating. Once you get almost to the edge of the leaf, they break off and they start subdividing. And then it actually continues to subdivide throughout the entirety of the leaf. So I'm just going to note those predominant ones, and then I'm going to write down the notes on the side. And it, I believe that is the predominant features of this leaf. So now I'm going to start noting some of the things on the side. And this has a very soft, hairy texture to it. So I'm going to write that in. Now when I get home, I can fill that in. Some more information, just like with the golden rod, you can use that. Use uh, a fresher and an herbal tea. Also noted that it has yellow flowers, and that it has sort of a rough texture to it, and then on the underside of it, it has kind of this hairy uh, texture to it, so I wrote that in. Then I'll be doing the same thing with the ver vein once I get more research on it. But soft hairy texture, full stem, sorry, full serrations, a full medial stem or a vein, and then alternating veins throughout the rest of the leaf. So that concludes my first episode of my personal naturalist studies if y'all have any questions comments concerns questionable life choices or epiphanies please feel free to hit me up in the comments i would love to hear what your guys' experiences have been with this so thank y'all for watching stay awesome